Okay, so in today's video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little jog down memory lane and tell you, first of all, how I personally recall the moment of playing like a professional golfer. So if you like consistently shooting in and around par in both sort of competitive and non-competitive rounds of golf. For those of you that don't know, because I have talked about it just briefly before on the channel, when I was about 19, I was a six handicap golfer. And over a two year period, I was on like a golf scholarship inside this country. And I transitioned from a six handicap to a plus three handicap. So during that time, I made technical changes to my game was supervised pretty much full time by a golf coach, had the ability to go and play lots of golf. And obviously that transformed me into a plus three handicap golfer. And after this time for about another year, 18 months, I stayed as an amateur. And then I had a brief period of time playing as a professional golfer as well. And I'm sort of referencing the latter part when I was consistently playing good golf because I didn't feel like I was making as many technical changes and really what I was doing was just trying to reproduce the same thing time and time again. And as I sort of reflected upon this recently, as I was teaching a student who was sort of poking around and asking questions along this line, I sort of recognized that there were two things that made a big difference to that consistency over that time frame. The first one was recognition of positions, or if you like, conscious competence, and precisely in three areas. The one was the takeaway, two was the top of the backswing, and then the third one was the sort of downswing coming in towards the hitting area. So having feelings, if you like, of that's the correct position, or no, that felt a little bit too steep. So I was very aware of how the good swing felt. And the second one is timing. Now, the other reason why it's prompted this video is because I was working with Ian, who's a mid handicap student. And Ian recently plays a game of golf and I videoed him and watched him and did a comparison of Ian compared to a single figure golfer and a professional golfer. And the big conclusion of that was the same sort of thing. It was a lack of timing and rhythmical movement. So when Ian came for a recent golf lesson, what we did is we decided to use a tempo application and to try and work on lengthening his swing, but to a rhythm. So I was trying to get Ian very consciously aware of the takeaway, the top of the backswing, and then the hit. And he was trying to do this to a rhythm. So it was very much boom, 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 boom. And obviously having done this session, and having some of these questions that I had the other day about my golf, it just sort of the two just aligned absolutely perfectly. So personally speaking, what you're looking to do is you are looking to, in that first move, you're looking to keep that backswing nice and wide. So move those hands to the side of the body, similar to what I'm demonstrating here. And for me, that was always a, a good feeling. It was always about creating width. It was always about making sure those arms are nice and straight in that backswing position like so. And that again was what I was trying to get Ian to do. But then from that position, it's really about trying to elevate that club up. And then as I'm doing that, can you see the way that I'm moving towards my lead side? So I start to trigger this sort of recentering motion where I'm moving progressively to my lead side and getting recognition for that position here. Because from there then, for myself personally speaking, I know this isn't gonna be for every golfer who watches the channel, all I used to think about then was sort of pulling the lead side out of the way and releasing the club down towards the target. And those were the sort of things that I would do. And as long as I could feel that position there, that position there, and that feeling of hitting it like that, as long as I then did that with inside the timing of my sort of three to one ratio of boom, 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 yeah, boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Then I kind of felt that on a day-to-day -day basis, I would get consistency. And this is exactly what Ian wasn't getting. And that's exactly what I think a lot of students don't get either. They tend to have periods where they play some good golf and some inconsistent golf. And they might come to the range and have a good practice session. And the next they have a bad session. And the problem is, is if you don't have recognition of a takeaway, backswing and a hit, and you don't have rhythm and timing, then you're constantly going to be thrown out and your swing is going to feel different day to day. So hopefully this video really helps lots of you with understanding that what you're really looking to do in your golf swing is, is, is build a takeaway, a backswing, and then a hitting feeling. 
and to try and put that into a sequence and timing. And if you can do that, then you are going to be much more consistent on a day-to-day -day basis. And also what I just want to mention very quickly is what I have launched is exactly this. So with students that I've been working with either face-to-face -face or online over the last few years, I've kind of realized that there's five fundamentals that you need to abide by. You've got your basics. So that's like your posture, your ball position, and your alignment. Swing plane. Okay, swinging the golf club on plane is key. Pivot. Having a good pivoting action and understanding how to pivot is vital again for consistency. And then we come into width and finally sequence. And those are the five fundamentals. And that's what I was alluding to in this video. We've got width. And then as I sort of swing back, we've got good pivot. And then this gives us the ability to do all of them, you see. Good pivot lends itself to good swing plane, which lends itself to good width. So on my website, I have a new membership program, which will be up and running as of next week. And what you receive as a member is you receive a swing analysis per month. You also receive access to practice routines that are governed in and around the fundamentals. So each routine is, depending what you're struggling on that you receive through the analysis, you will be pointed by myself into the direction of width, backswing, pivot, backswing, width, downswing, whatever it is that you need to work on so you can get recognition for these positions, similar to what I talk about on the channel all the time. And I'm just mentioning that in case any of you are potentially interested because I think it's a great opportunity that I don't want you to miss out on. But if you're looking for consistency, get recognition for key positions in the golf swing, takeaway, backswing, start to the downswing and the hit, and then find a nice timing and rhythm that suits you. And that's how you're gonna get more consistency on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me know how you get on.